what it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. We are here at the 2023 New South Wales Open presented by MVP Disc. We're at the back nine of the Armory. We got Reese Wisnowski, local MPO, showing us around along with Austin De La Sandra behind the camera right now. They're showing us all the lines to hit, some of the lines not to hit, but yep. they're just doing their best. Reese, show us whole 10, man. Alrighty, starting the back nine, we've got the scoreable nine, I think. The seven, seven holes at probably must get birdies, I think, for the MPO division. Hole 10, I think it's 90 meter par three. We've got or on the left or OB, so you have gotta be on the right hand side of the fairway, or you can take your chances with a forehand over the OB. Um, coming up to the basket, it is an elevated basket with OB right behind it, so maybe a death putt, um, but should be a birdie for the MPO field. Swing in. Fine. Yeah. Parked. Yeah. Oh, wow. It might come back. <laughs> it actually might be safe. You might be safe. You'd be surprised. Oh. I can't get over these bugs. We need the plug. I've never even seen these bugs here before. No. Hole 11, par four. I think it's 170 meters, 180 meter. Uh, you've got this gap that you can, I guess is the right play to do. Um, it's not, no mandos at all. Other than halfway up the fairway, we've got a mando right. So you want to get your first shot over stable distance driver or fairway driver through the middle, get it to fade left. And then you've got an 80 meter approach to the basket with OB about 10 meters past it. It's pretty ideal. That's ideal. You could just go stop now. Yep. There we go. <laughs> oh. I'm too short to see it from here. It was close. Reese is the perfect drive. Oh, that's right. You see that disc in front of his, that's mine. Had an even more perfect drive. Oh! No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll throw another one quickly. My disc. It's just, um, it's my perfect forehand distance with this disc, so it's just comfort. That's a bit Ooh, short. Oh, that Sydney grass bouncing him backwards. Oh. Should be an easy par from there. Wow. Ooh, that's dirty. Austin with that. A bit out of position drive, but still making the bird. Hole 12 is a par three. I think it's the longest par three in the course. It's about 115, 120 meters. Um, we like to call this Austin's hole. Um, the basket's behind the clump of trees in the middle. I think the play is to just go straight at it, or you can go a bit right and get it to fade in. Um, yeah, this is going to be a hard birdie for most people, especially if it's windy. I think this is going to be a hole for you, Chili, and Jade to birdie. Holy moly. That is so good. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a birdie putt. Yeah, that's, that's in the <laughs> It's a birdie putt. You're, you're pretty parked, I think. You might be a bit short. Yeah, I'm gonna be like using my whole body in this one. No, that's bad. Too flippy. A bit nose up on that one. But if that hits the leaves, it's still a bit of a putt. Even 
Yeah. I feel like backhand's yeah. the play. It's easier for me to get this. Yep, good up. This would be huge. Do it. Oh! <laughs> yes! That was sick, man. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Hole 13, par 4, about 160 metres. It's a dogleg left. We've got a bit of a gap to hit off the tee, um, and then there's the other side of the road is the fairway that you want to land in and go a bit left. Then your second shot's it's the hard one. It's, a, I guess, a 50-50 bit of a fluky up shot where you might land it on the island, but it could roll away if it hits one of the early trees. Um, and then there's also a sneaky eagle play. If you get it up nice and high, stable, you could crash into the island um, on your first shot. Also going safe route first. Then he said he's going to try to get the eagle. The yep. eagle never even crossed my that's mind. Nice. I never even that's birdie. thought it was possible. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a bit inside. Oh, okay. All right, going for the eagle. Yeah, I don't think it's high enough. I'll have a quick crack at it. Sneak in. You kind of just want to poke and hope. Put, yeah. Put like your approach guess, disc on high, is there? The smart shot is to bump it at the top of a hill and slide it up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, you could easily hit that and just roll back. Whoa. <laughs> Bang. Bang. I told you to put this guy's ass down. Yeah. <laughs> now we on. I might be back to par. Hole 14, 115 metre par 3, uh, yeah, it's basically only three different options. We've got the high hyzer to the right over the OB, all the reeds and the, the bushes out of bounds. We've got left forehand, fade it back into the middle, or we've got even just a straight option. Um, oh, there's a fourth option, which is what I'll be doing laying up. Good tailwind. Oh, that's gone. Uh oh. oh that's a, that might carry far enough. That might just be over it. Yep. Leap. Oh, two in a row. Two in a row. That's, um, that's a hard one. We're just doing the smart option to land up because as you see, saw with Austin's disc, it's so easy to get into either one of these OBs and then never find your disc again. I came up there. Hole 15, 110 meter par three. Uh, no elevation, we've just got OB all on the left, uh, wraps behind the basket and to the right of the fairway. Pretty forgiving hole, should be, should be in circle on your drive. It can get really windy here as well, but usually just an overstable backhand. Yeah, those reeds come into play quite a bit. That's so That's wide. That's wide. That is very It'll wide. It'll skip up to like <laughs> C2. Oh, you got a skip in the Sydney grass? It's very skippy here. Oh, it's so slow, isn't it? Yeah, I hate it. Tuesday and uh, yeah, Mondays. Oh, Sunday and Monday is supposed to be the hardest, I think. 
these bugs, man. <laughs> this is actually insane. Oh, able. <laughs> I don't know how you could concentrate to play in these bugs. Ugh. Hole 16, par four. I guess this is a separator hole at the end, trying to entice people to go for the eagle. Um, it's a triple island hopping hole, so it's about 130, 140 meters. You got the first island, it's really hard to see on camera, maybe the sign will be a bit better. But basically, you got the first island, which is really close. The second island's probably 60 to 80 meters off the tee. Um, that's the birdie play, chip over there, and then chip into the island at the end. And the last island at the end is maybe 12 meters radius, I, I would say a bit bigger than circle. But a lot of the boys were going for the eagle. Left or right. Oh, I reckon it had the distance. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to First Island. Skip. That's in. Yeah, one of There we go. I can show up in the day and don't run it. The smart man. I mean, you just go 80 from there. Is that that tree? In the drop zone. And that first shot didn't make the island. Or any of the islands. That stuck it. Oh. Mm. Mm. These bugs. Holy crap. Hole 17, it's our only par 5. It's 250 meters, really a short par 5. I don't think it's eagleable unless you throw it in just because of the angles to get up to the basket. We've got a bit of an uphill, we've got a few mandos on the left and on the right to keep you straight and then a slow dog leg to the right, come up to an OB road that splits the fairway and it's probably like 40, 50 metres to the basket there, should be a birdie. Hey, come on. Big ass snake. Don't, why are you standing so far away? Bruh. Oh, rolled off the. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's safe, but your second shot's. What are you? was trying to throw a roller off the tee there? Yeah. yeah. That's so right. Left. Um, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Miss Mando? No, I made the Mando. Yeah, but it killed back. Yeah, you want to be more where I went to have a good look at the second shot, but that'll be fine. Yeah. It's going to be a full send from there if you want to get the birdie. Yeah, you're in, this one's in prime spot. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can no. still birdie from there, likely. Now that might be a shared OB with hole five. That's a roller. Stand up. It is. 
Where, where are you trying be... to roll to? Because there's a gutter on the other side that you yeah. won't be able to get over. Oh, no, I was trying to get to the basket. That's long. I didn't realize there was OB up here, but he found it. Nah, I think that's fine. Short. Nice putt. Cash. For like a, what, an eight? <laughs> Dang. Is that bird? Yep. Hole 18, it's a par three, 60 meters. It's, it's a triple Mando. Triple Mando probably comes in at 50 meters. Um, it's all safe beforehand, and there's OB along the basket about eight meters. So um, it's pretty much run it, get the birdie, or a bogey if you miss it, or lay up for an easy par. A lot of people were throwing the slide up play just on the ground, letting it slide up, but it looks like there's a new bar across. No more slide play. Y'all gonna have to throw it legitimately. Ooh, the wind. Nice. Got him. Is it hazard? Is this hazard? Nah, then it's drop zone. Drop zone? Yeah, that's a bogey. Right oh, you got under. You got under. You got under. It. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is one of the holes where if I just don't, if I don't think and I just throw, I always get it. Just play catch. Yeah, just gotta like just walk up and just go for it. Go in the basket. Yep. So there is a drop zone if you miss the Mando. Like my man Reese, unluckily did. Oh, he's nailed. Oh. oh. This looks like such a summer as well, bro. Nice body, you know, I Uh, no. I really wanted that putt. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I can't believe he snuck underneath that bar somehow. Have a putt from one meter there. It's going to be a very likely shot for most people. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up the full practice round of the New South Wales Open presented by MVP Disc. Shout out to them for getting this on there. You can even see it on the bottoms of all the baskets. We got MVP and Streamline. Thank you very much, Reese, for coming Justice. out. Thank you, Austin, for coming out. They put on a show. Y'all boys put on a show. Yeah, it Which, should be good. Like one under, one under-ish, I think. Oh, all right, I don't know. It's, what do we think? Let's hear it. What do we think when the score is going to be? Let's hear it. So I think a clean six to nine under a round will be up there. I think you just got to keep it in bounds and manage the win on yeah. Sunday. It's going to be 37 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be hot. 55k gusts. So. And I don't know if y'all seen these bugs, but it's going to be hot <laughs> and buggy. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you stay tuned for the coverage. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. See ya.